Hey everyone. Uh, okay, I have to look there. <laughs> so now I'm in a place called Varangerbotten in the East Finnmark, in north of Norway still. We just got down from this cabin up in the mountains and uh, now we're gonna explore uh, the rest of this area. But I just uh, did an interview actually, just very spontaneously with a woman who has a reindeer herd and her whole, whole family has reindeers and it's their livelihood and um, <laughs> it was quite a spontaneous interview I hadn't prepared it so I wasn't prepared emotionally or you know technically so uh, when we went down on these snowmobiles I was thinking okay I'm gonna ask her this and I'm gonna ask her that but the thing is that you know city people like me we don't know much about the Sami culture or you know this kind of way of living like living off of the reindeers uh, it's so foreign to me so I was afraid that I was gonna ask silly questions uh, so I went in there in there in the interview quite tentative and quite hesitant but I was like I gotta do this you know this is an opportunity and it's Norwegian I'm putting it on my Norwegian channel uh, but what she said was really uh, a relief because she started out saying you know just ask me any questions you want don't think that you can ask a silly question because I know that um, this is very foreign to you you know this way of living so I did ask her all sorts of questions and I guess it turned out okay. We talked for like 40 minutes and there's so much I don't know about the way they're living. And I guess that's why sometimes we have prejudices towards each other's cultures. I mean, because there has been this um, um, division between Norwegians and Sami people and uh, uh, there's a terrible history there where the Norwegians were, uh, uh, what is it called in English, for Norsking. They uh, forced the Sami people to change their names, so in order to buy property, and uh, like Sami children couldn't um, uh, speak in their own language like Sami language in school so they didn't even understand anything this is like way back like um, maybe I don't know 70 80 years ago uh, but the Norwegians were trying to Norwegianize <laughs> the Sami people so it's quite an ugly story there actually uh, so I can feel like you know the Sami people they they are very proud and they want to preserve their culture, of course, and it's difficult because it's kind of, in a way, like she was saying in the interview, it's dying out. You know, we uh, build more and more uh, industries and cabins, etc. on these wild places where the reindeers needs to eat and uh, live. Then it dies out, the culture can die out, and that was a big worry for her. Another thing I've been noticing up here is that I do uh, have a less stressful mind. I think I've said that before. Like when I get into nature, I think less, which is really nice. Like I'm not that hard on myself. Because in the city I tend to be uh, having much more negative thoughts than here. I mean, it's normal to have negative thoughts, but I feel that I'm not stressing that much with uh, negative thoughts up here. I'm like, it's more empty. <laughs> It's more quiet and I like that and then Sunday I'm going home and uh, I wish I could stay here longer I like it up here up north I do I think I have to come back I really do so quiet I love it the sky it's cloudy but it still still has a lot of shades you know interesting colors you can see it okay bye bye